Meanwhile, Africa's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is now investigating a mutant strain of COVID-19 that emerged in Nigeria. This is entirely different from the mutant strains which have been identified in the UK and South Africa. They were discovered in two patient samples from August 3rd and October 9th. There is no evidence to suggest that Nigeria's strain is more contagious or potent than the original virus. This development comes at a time when Africa is witnessing a surge in cases and the continent has more than 2.5 million confirmed cases. Now that is around 3.3% of the global caseload. Over the last four weeks, infections have spiked almost 11%, including a 52% surge in Nigeria and a 40% surge in South Africa. The Nigerian government feels the recent surge is due to increased travel and low compliance with virus curbs. South Africa's mutant strain, meanwhile, is spreading like wildfire. The confirmed caseload is approaching 1 million. The mutant in South Africa is more infectious than the original virus, but it's not clear whether it leads to more severe cases or not. The Africa CDC is confident that the new strain will not affect vaccine deployment.